you guys what is up it is ivy concrete catwalk those of you who are new to my channel welcome i love all things thrift vintage new nearly new estate sailing sailing you name it i love it to my catwalk with you welcome back to a new video this sunday those of you who are newly subscribed thank you so much for coming along together on this journey i want to get into it over the course of the past month i've just been picking up some things that I have seen that I really, really like. Segue into a topic that I am noticing that I am finding more and more. It is in line with a fashion look that is slowly but surely simmering. You guys may know what it is, but we're gonna get into that in a little bit. The first things are a pair of sneakers that I picked up from my favorite place, Gabriel Brothers. I came across these in Gabriel Brothers for all of $9.99. When I saw them, I was like, okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to get these. They have a very low key aesthetic to them. The color palette, very neutral. I see myself wearing these with some black wide leg trousers. I even see me wearing these with a tights and some type of a dress situation. A wide variety of outfits. These shoes by Maurice's. Next up, the Chunky Loafer has been all across the fashion pages. And you know, every single designer has a version of a Chunky Loafer. Well, if you do not want to drop the pretty penny for a loafer, again, I happen to be in Gabriel Brothers and I came across these patent leather beige loafers. I picked these up on sale for all of $11. They look way more expensive. When I saw these and I tried them on and they fit, oh my God, you guys, I was done. I knew I was gonna get these. If you have Gabriel Brothers, I'm gonna tell you again, run into Gabriel Brothers, poke around and see what you can find. Next up, this is segueing into what I wanted to talk to you guys about. It goes along with some of the other things that I wanna show. And it gets into a deeper conversation that I want to open up a dialogue with you guys. Recently, I began to see this whole thing with the shift towards more relaxed types of looks that were coming down the runway. And I'm talking about grunge. I really am a fan of grunge. When I say grunge, I'm talking like the 90s grunge. Mark Jacobs, you come on now, you know. The introduction of all of that back in the 90s was amazing as i've been looking and coming across certain pieces i noticed that the way i am getting dressed has significantly shifted it is leaning hard towards the unpretentiousness that i am beginning to really embrace and enjoy within getting dressed that doesn't mean that i don't like to dress up but i don't like when getting dressed becomes a whole big production and you're trying to make a look a look. I've been down that road and I've done that before and I don't like it, that's not me. I'm one of those people where I have to put something together and it feels naturally like something that I would want to do. I happen to pop in and these pieces are from Urban Outfitters that I've picked up over the course of the last, let's just say month and a half. And I wanted to wait to collectively show you guys what I picked up. So first up, this sweater that I am wearing, distressed grunge type sweater. I saw in the clearance section and I immediately knew, I said, oh my God, I can work with this. I love the fact that it is oversized. This is a size large, but it fits like an extra large. It has distressed holes and everything all throughout. A little bit of a frayed hem. I'll stand up. I love everything that this sweater is giving, the ease of use to wear the sweater, and the fact that you could pair this with so many other things beyond just going for a grunge type look. Now let me clarify some things when it comes down to grunge. I love 90s grunge, I really do, because that was the introduction of something so big and so awesome, but do I want to live in the 90s? No, I don't. I like 
to revisit certain things, but also be realistic about the true 90s aesthetic was just that back in the 90s. And this is just a touch base reintroduction, subtle pieces that will work within my wardrobe. Next item that I picked up in Urban Outfitters in the men's department. Now you guys know how I feel about the men's department. If you take your time and you look, you can find some amazing things. I picked up this oversized men's sweater by BDG. It is amazing. I have worn this as a dress and gives that little bit of grunge aesthetic, especially if I pair this over tights. It is a piece that can be used throughout my wardrobe. This could be a layering piece if I decide I want to throw a long coat over top of it and just wear tights and some type of a sneaker. Or if I want to wear this over some type of a short flared skirt or if I want to do something long and pleated, I could do this with that. It's just soft base pieces that will get me to the look that I'm trying to achieve, which is a little bit of grunge, but not crazy. Okay, so let's move on. I'll post a picture here, here. You guys remember back in the day, Marc Jacobs did those extra super long, thick, chunky scarves all the way down to the ground. Well, I picked up a scarf like that. However, it is a skinny scarf, lightweight, super long, it has a little bit of flaring down at the bottom. What I love about this scarf is that it nicely revisits without looking like you are trying too hard. Okay, the last piece that I wanna show you that I picked up with a little bit of nod to grunge is a jacket. Of all places, you guys, this jacket came straight out of Walmart's clearance section. If you have not been into Walmart's clothing section as of late or have not been hearing all the buzz about Walmart's clothing section, specifically the clearance section, please carry yourself in there and do something about that and take a look around and see what you can find. And I saw this jacket, $15 marked down on clearance. There was no way I was leaving Walmart without this jacket. I saw this and I was like, perfect the type of thing where i knew once i put this on i was going to be comfortable all day i was going to be warm all day and my outfit was just going to translate to comfortable casual and make sense so you guys that brings me to this what i've noticed about getting dressed lately has taken this whole change into not just being low-key under the radar understated quiet luxury whatever you want to call this dressing has taken on a facet of being unpretentiously non-deliberate about how you decide you would like to look unpretentious the word in and of itself you're comfortable in the look and you can pull the look off because it is something that is almost like a second skin and you just decided to put it on and walk out the door and it works for you. The whole idea that these things are just so easy is the part that I love the most. Do I enjoy getting all dressed up and going someplace where you have to do the whole nine yards? Sure I do. In my day to day of getting dressed, easy, natural, unpretentious, let me put it on, let it make sense because we work well together, whatever the piece is, is what works for me. So you guys, let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the pieces, the shoes, the things that I showed you from Walmart, Urban Outfitters, and let me know your thoughts about getting dressed unpretentiously. Put it on and it just works, it just makes sense, and it's not an outfit that you're fighting to make sense. If you do not want to miss out on anything that I post, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday. So if you do not want to miss out, tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be in the description box below. Head on over to Poshmark. Check out my closet. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. 
if you see anything in my closet that you may be interested in, feel free to DM me there or you can head on over to IG. I am the Catwalks Concrete on IG. Feel free to DM me there as well if there's anything that you are interested in. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Thank you.